For a couple of weeks, I've been wanting to talk about should you get a real camera, like the one I'm shooting on right now, or you're making vlogs, you're making stuff on YouTube, should you just be doing it on your phone? And I thought, who better to help me make this video? It's me! <laughs> I'm gonna help you make the video. <laughs> it's Lizzie. Let's get to it. Luna is legit brand new, so Lizzie's been in the house for... <laughs> too long. <laughs> too long, just taking care of her. So, we're making this video right here, yeah. in this space, thanks for that reason. Accommodating. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks for having me. Lizzie has graciously offered to make us some coffee. I'm gonna film it two different ways. One with this camera, one with my phone. And I'm gonna ask Lizzie some questions about the phone that she's been using in a couple of her recent videos. So I wanna ask you about... Yes. You've been vlogging. I have. Which by the way, is my favorite thing on the internet right now. Thank you so much. I love just like sitting down, watching a Lizzie vlog. So thank you for that. That's the goal. One of the things that I noticed mm -hmm. um, is how often you use a phone. In Quite a like lot. Like that you cut in, you know, you have um, I think you shoot on Sony, mm -hmm. then you cut in some phone stuff, then mm -hmm. so like you're doing a bunch of different cameras. Tell me, what is like reason number one that you use a phone? Reason number one. Yeah, honestly. Honestly is convenience. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean convenience wouldn't win. My cat wants to come, come up. Come on up, Luna. Convenience definitely was the first one, but why I decided to include the phone footage had to be strategic. It mm -hmm. had to make sense. Right. And it kind of, the whole reason behind it was I wanted it to feel authentic. Yeah. And what I try to do the most on my channel, which is super hard, what every YouTuber is trying to do is to be authentic and right. to be real and to be honest. Right. So I figured if I'm, if I'm doing vlogs, if I'm doing weekly vlogs, the whole point is to show them that this is my life, this is what I'm actually doing, this is what it really looks like, and I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm so busy, I'm at the office, I'm constantly in meetings, because I'm not, that's not me, that's not my life, so I wanted to show people, oh, she likes you! Oh, Luna. <laughs> I, no one's listening to me, they're just watching the cat for sure. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> uh, I wanted to, I wanted it to feel real. Yeah. And that comes from watching things on a phone. Exactly. It feels real. It feels like you're there. It feels like you're watching a friend's video. It feels mm -hmm. like you're, you're right there and you're super connected to them and um, it just feels more real then. It doesn't feel contrived or overproduced and a lot of vlogs, especially in this space that we're in, they're always like, there's B-roll, and we're making we're making coffee. Right. <laughs> and, and look how epically gorgeous it is. Exactly. Yeah. But that's not life. That's yeah. not real. Um, me holding my like in a lot of YouTubers' vlogs, it's like some massive Joby. It's like a a really nice DSLR. Yeah. The great lens on it with the Video Mic Pro Plus. Yeah. And my arm is shaking as I'm holding it. And like that's not me. I'm con I'm thinking how quickly can I say the things I need to say before I put it down. Mm -hmm. But with my phone, I'm just I'm like okay. Yeah. So I'm doing this. This is today. Right. Or I'll set it up and film a time lapse and. Yeah, basically it just feels, in short, it just feels more real. Like the first time you cut to the phone, I was, my immediate thought, and it's obviously different for me because I'm a filmmaker and like I analyze stuff like this. Like, yeah. you know, your average viewer isn't like, oh, that's a phone shot. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the motivation behind that choice mm -hmm. was, you know? But I immediately thought like, oh shoot, like this is real. This is real stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, she's really bringing us into her actual life and I just mm -hmm. absolutely love that. Thank you. I think where it's sort of, so it's, it's obvious that it works for vlogs. Yeah. I think a place where it less obviously works, but where I've been seeing it more and more used is in commercial work, mm -hmm. and especially with brands that feel sort of larger than life. Yep. Like it, like Coca-Cola or Amazon or, um, I forget, I think one, there was a Tide commercial that was like customers who submitted phone footage. Yeah. And the reason that these brands are doing it, like 100% it's motivated, it's strategy, right? Mm -hmm. But it is so they can connect at a level where people feel, like they make themselves more real as a brand by using a phone. 100%. There's been a video that I've been meaning to make for a long time, which was like, why you should be using your phone for client work. Yeah. And it's for that very reason. I think so often brands just want the best gear, like you need to shoot this on red or yeah. whatever. 
but in a lot of ways using phone footage it, it breaks down some barriers and it has a lot of benefits that I don't think yeah. anybody's talking about. I think a lot of content now is, it, it, it's pretty easy to get something that's well done. Mm -hmm. You can buy a camera that shoots 4K, it's pretty standard. Yeah. You can make a very beautiful commercial but we just scroll through those. You know what I mean? Like we flip through those channels. Well, we don't flip through channels anymore. We watch Netflix and they're <laughs> Right, right. But um, it's the challenge now isn't to make something that's really beautiful and well done. It's to stand out. Mm -hmm. And so everyone's going, how are we different? How do we differentiate ourselves? How, how do we get that person to pay attention to the thing that we made, um, listen to what we're saying, and then tell their friend about it and remember our product or rem remember that video? And so everyone's like trying to think of what's going to shock people. Mm -hmm. That's probably why like Dollar Shave Club, for example, it was so funny. It was so, it wasn't necessarily like the most highly produced thing of all time. Right. And we've had so many clients ask us like, we want a video like this. And mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, I, I know because it's different and it's funny. And um, even though it wasn't shot with the phone, but that's right. why I think a lot of people are using phone footage is right. because it looks visually different, A. And like you said, it's, it's the camera that we all have. So there's become this, this whole feeling around phone footage mm -hmm. because it's the type of footage everyone can film. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the root of everything. Everyone just wants like, that's social media, it's mm -hmm. connection. Mm -hmm. And like, that's what's so cool about shooting on a phone is the, the connectivity of it. And yeah, I feel like I just went on a really long tangent. That was really good. Thank you. We basically <laughs> just reported, re recorded a podcast right here on your yeah. couch, which is rad. Oh, we should. I wish you were staying long enough so we could do I wish I was too. I'm sorry. I know. So why I started the vlogs was because I wanted people to see the behind the scenes. But why mm -hmm. I shot them the way I did was because there's actually another YouTuber I was inspired by in a completely different niche. Yeah. So she's in I love that. A, a more like fashion lifestyle niche and she does weekly vlogs and they are so underproduced mm -hmm. that it really like Chris watches them and he goes, they feel lazy to me. Yeah, yeah. I religiously watch them. Mm -hmm. And then I started to think more before I even thought about starting my own. I was like, why do I love these so much? Because I can just, do you want to wait till it's done? <laughs> yeah. So you'll go on. Why do I love these so much? Yeah. What I love about her vlogs is that I feel like I've spent the week with her mm -hmm. and I've just watched from a distance what she's been doing. Mm -hmm. And so the shots aren't necessarily like composed well, but it's just like her phone set up in the corner and I feel like I'm actually like there watching her week and watching what she's doing, um, which I think is, it's really cool because she also owns her own business. And so the one of the funny things she was going through was she was like, oh, I'm meeting with my accountant to go through all my incorporation things. And I was like, I'm doing that too. Yeah. It's so nice to see someone else my age doing this same process because I feel so, I don't know, it's just, I hated it. <laughs> I hate like everything accounting. Yeah. So, um, but anyways, going back into why I like the, why I like her format of vlogs is she's putting it out every week. They're getting tons of views. I love watching them. I love seeing what she's wearing, where she's going to get coffee, what, um, how she's structuring her day, some of her favorite whatever foods vitamins you know what i mean and yeah. i thought like why can't i do that for myself in terms of my business production gear you know all of those or, or behind the scenes of our tourism trips why can't i share that same information for more of a production oriented audience yeah in my daily life because i have so many little things that i'm like and eh, that's not like good enough for a whole video but now i have so much content for these vlogs because i'm like oh well this is like this is perfect. I can yeah. just throw that in here or the events we go to, everyone's like, Oh, are you going to post a video from that? Like Google event you went to and like, no, that's not really a whole video, but I can put it in the vlog and yeah. you guys can see that I do go to a lot of these events to network and, and I can talk about why we go or why we plan a lot of extra time in our shoot days when we're shooting with the tourism board. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's almost better for it to be underproduced because there's so many high quality vlogs out there. So mm -hmm. I was like, why don't I do something completely different because mm -hmm. that's what she's doing and I love watching those, but I'll throw my own twist on it. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and then also I have the, you know, the benefit is I'm posting videos every week consistently yeah. because of it. And I can just focus on doing like a couple pieces of hero content. Yep. Um, 
And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, wait till you become a YouTuber and then you will. <laughs> you <You're>, know? <laughs> the, the amazing thing about it is like your core audience. So like whether that's just people who love you or whether it's people who are in the film, like they make commercial videos for clients or whatever. Yeah. Like they're craving that sort of consistency mm -hmm. and now they have it. And yeah. it's like not something that you're bending over backwards like you know, burning yourself out to get it done. Yeah. Because you are, mm -hmm. there is that kind of, um, you know, you can, you have the ability to just pick up the phone and do it. Exactly. You don't have to like be, you know, get a, a bicep Which I the size do. of. Which I yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's no, there's nothing here, guys. <laughs> well, and that's also why like I got an editor for those. Yeah. Because I knew they're gonna be so underproduced that it doesn't need a lot of my personality in the editing. Mm -hmm. I want, like obviously I'm working with him to make sure it has a vibe that I want, Yeah. but he can cut it together. He understands my sense of humor, which mm -hmm. was so important. Mm -hmm. And I love getting a cut from him and just being like, oh my God, that's so funny that yeah. he saw that moment. And like, I love that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's also why I, I could get an editor. Cause I was like, the, the video itself is me. Your personality my comes personality through in the shooting. Is coming through in the shooting. Mm -hmm. So um, that's helping me get videos out every week. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Listen, if you're for some reason not watching Lizzie's vlogs or her hero content like she was talking about, look at this face. You need and to then do reconsider. that. You need to be doing that. Also, <laughs> there's a video that's on our channel right now that I might be in. You All right. Will. Might, <laughs> he might be there. All right. <laughs> Lizzie, thank you. Thanks. Thanks for Love having it. me. Thanks for having me to your house and with your Thanks, Luna. brand new kitten. Bye. Thanks, Luna. Oh, it's no problem. Luna, at all. thank you for being a wonderful She's kitty. She's so sleepy. Oh my goodness. Why do you hate me? <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first time making coffee. <laughs>